everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And I'm back again this week with another project from our newest release. This is from our January 2020 release. And uh, this is also a really fun project. So this is called the Large Shop Set. It comes with two little shops and some words that you can place into the little signs here. Uh, really fun to do. I think you're gonna really like this project. And you can dress it up with whatever flowers and foliages you have. So I'm using a really simple little one on this one, but feel free to uh, experiment with things that you have. So let's get going on this project. We're gonna need a few things. And uh, we're going to need this uh, large shop set, and we're gonna use this one right here, and this little espresso sign. I'm going back to the lamppost set. I really, really love this. It's it's sort of an accent stamp, so you can kind of stamp it in there at the end once you've finished your, pro your project and just adds a little more um, kind of pizzazz to your, uh, your composition. So I'm using this one right here. The new wrought iron set. I love this set and I love it because you can stamp over the top of everything. So once your project is finished, you can add a little table and chair set uh, to your, your composition. It's so cute. You don't have to mask anything. So super easy. Uh, we're also going to use the mini flower set. So this little guy right here. And then in the basic set, the grass, this is the basic foliage set and the flower set, the little filler flower, the daisy bunch. Okay, so that is all we need and we are ready to get started with this little project. So we're going to start out by inking that, uh, inking that basic image and we're going to use two colors. So the dark brown and the blue. And because this is a wooden structure, we're going to do the brown second. So we're going to do the blue on here first. I'm just going to ink this whole thing up using the side of my marker. And cover that whole surface. And now the brown over the top. that all up and I want this pretty light so I've used some really light colors on this uh, project and so I want to stamp it off make sure that I'm not getting too much ink on there so now I can stamp it onto my watercolor paper and there we go that's just about perfect so the next step is always to dip your brush in water which I'm doing right now and pinch it off so that it's flat and start to pull the color out of the lines I think this first step uh, really builds confidence because as soon as you start doing this, you see this start to take shape and then it's like, you know what, I can watercolor. And you know, the hardest part I think is that basic image. You know, once you learn how to add the flowers and foliages, you know, it's all the same. We're doing it the same every time, stamping it at a repeat, adding water to it. And once you get that concept, you know, the sky's the limit. And then it's just a matter of trying it with new, new images. So I think once you get past this first part and see how things are starting to take shape, I think confidence just comes. Okay, so you can see that I have uh, pulled the color out of the lines quickly. Don't have to take too much time on this. And let's go on to the next step. And I'm going to add some color now to my palette, some dark brown for the roof, some bright blue. This is, this is a number 403. This is really bright. I tried to find the brightest blue I could find. It's almost like a turquoise color, sort of a beachy color. And when I, when I put this little project together, I was thinking something like, uh, you know, tropical or along a beach, a little shop. Uh, somewhere where it's really sunny and warm and so you know tropical colors are turquoise so I think that was a natural choice dark blue so we can do some shadows and then black I usually never use black and I am using black this time for those stripes on the awning so I think it's fun to try new colors I need to get out of my uh, comfort zone sometimes and try new things. So I pick black. Okay, so I'm going to start out now with with some shadows in here. Underneath. 
underneath here where the little planters are. We're going to see a shadow under there, underneath the roof, and then a little bit on this, this sign. And I think I'll leave this door white. So I want to put a little shadow underneath here and some color on the door. Never want to leave things that are white uncolored. I want to just put a little color on just to kind of muddy it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some color now to the windows. And keep in mind that you're going to put flowers in these planters, so you don't want to get too much color on these on these windows. You don't want to drop the color down too low, is I guess what I'm trying to say. I'm going to leave enough space here. Okay, so let's put some of this bright color now onto this little shop. And you know, a little bit, it doesn't necessarily have to be all colored in solid. We're just kind of given the idea of it. And sometimes it's better not to have everything too uniform. Okay, so let's add some of this black now onto this little awning here. Take your time. Kind of follow the, the curve. So you don't want to make a straight line, you know, other than the center, you want to make sure you have a curve on the side to make sure that you can see that that's rounded. And on this, this awning too, kind of follow these, these lines. It, to me, it, it helps to do the center one first. And then I can do one on the side, one on the side, and then the center. There we go. One more on the side. And we got our little canopy done. Okay, that looks good. So let's continue on here. Let's take some of this brown now and do the roof. And again, I'm thinking this is tropical, so the roof is gonna kind of be bleached out, so not too dark. Uh, make sure you leave that highlight on the top. Just a reminder. Leave that highlight. It's always a good idea. And this in here, of course, is going to be really dark. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to uh, just darken this little doorknob really quickly. So I'm using my fine tip of that brown pen and really darkening that. Okay, let's go ahead and add our flowers in here. That's gonna brighten it up. And I think I'm gonna use red. And my little, my little flowers right here. And a green. So we're gonna color the bottom. And then the top. And we're just gonna just stamp these in here a couple times. And maybe let's go one more. That looks good. And now I'm gonna clean this off so that I'm just using half of it. So I'm just gonna ink half of it. Uh, because I've got a small little planter here. 
and I don't need that whole thing. And I'll do it again on this side. And the little flowers are in just like that. One, two, three, and done. So now I'm gonna drag this color down. And you can see there's no line here on the planter, so you're not fighting with that, um, with that stamped image, that stamped line, and trying to line things up. So you're creating, you're creating the line with this grass, and I think it's much more natural looking. Clean your brush off, and then just dab. Don't be afraid to go outside of the lines, that's okay. Just kind of dab, leave those, leave those white spaces so you're not coloring everything in solid. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little more blue now to the, the shadow. And then under here. Darken this little this window a little more. That looks good, and I think I'll just drag some of this color out. This would be in the shadow here, this little alcove. Okay, that looks good. So let's go on now. We've got our little structure done. And we're going to add some flowers now into the background and some little grasses. So I'm gonna use my, my little filler flower here. And just ink a few of these. So I just want to get some into the background and I'm using a really light color. So you want to go around in a circle, one, two, three, four, five, just to get some of this in the background. And then add water and soften that all up. And just pull that color around. Just blending it all up. You can pull some of this color now from the, the little shop. Just pull this out. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna add some color now to the, uh, the grass. I'm gonna add some grass in here. I'm using a lighter green. And just coming in right below that. And I think I'll go ahead and put some uh, sky color in here while I'm at it. Really lightly. Just kind of push it around. It's just the idea of the sky. So, you know, just... Try not to let the sky get out of control. This is just the idea of it. So just a little bit here and there. Don't, don't try to color everything in solid. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the little sign in here. I just chose the little espresso. And of course I'm gonna use my positioner. I don't wanna guess on that one. I'm gonna use that dark turquoise again stamp that in the corner and then I can line that up exactly where I want it and I think I'll just re-ink that again just to make sure that it's really dark and stamp that in there Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and put our, uh, our accent pieces in. So that would be the lights. So these two little lights. 
I'm gonna put one on either side. And I'm just gonna use my positioner again, just to make sure. And I think I'm gonna use that turquoise on here. So you can do, do these in a number of colors. You could do them in the dark blue or the dark brown or a combination. But I think in this case, I'm gonna do the dark brown and I'm going to do the, the turquoise on top. And I think it'll give us a more of a patina look, which I think will be really cute. So I did the dark brown and now the, and now the turquoise on top. And I'm just gonna stamp this in here to make sure that I get it in the right place. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ink this one more time. Whoops, I think that moved. So let me make sure I get that in the right place. Looks good right there. And be careful, especially when you're stamping the bottom because it's a really tiny end and you don't want that too dark. And let's go ahead and put the other one in. And I think I can just top on that and stamp that in. There we go, two little lights in. And don't add any water to the posts. There's no, no need to do that. We don't want those to be too dark. We've got, you can see we've got that blue coming through. It's really cute. And now a little blue in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the wrought iron in and we are finished with this little project. So I'm gonna use my uh, positioner again. And I'm gonna use the chair first. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the dark brown and the turquoise. Just right over the top. Stamp that right in the corner, flush in the corner. And I think that's a good spot for it right there. That looks good. And then one more, the little table. And I'll just use my positioner again. So again, the dark brown. And then the turquoise on top of that. right into the corner like this and place that right next to that little chair. Okay, there we go. And now all I have to do is just add a little water to the tabletop. And you can see it's kind of giving us that, kind of that old rustic looking kind of patina look. in the chair and we kind of get a mix of color now we need a, a little shadow underneath here don't stress out about this just do a little kind of a little square right underneath the chair and a little circle kind of right underneath the table and that is all we have to do and we are finished with this project. It's all finished. One thing left to do, and that is to sign in date. And put it on a card and give it away. You're gonna make someone's day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you all next week with a new release.